Peace and blessings to you all. This is A Look Inside with Rashar Medina. Today I want to talk about an uh, interesting topic, which is feeling like a burden to other people. So this is a big topic because it can lead to a lot of different outcomes in life, a lot of different side effects. So when we feel like a burden, this tends to be because of the perception that we had of ourselves in relation to our parents. When we were very young, if we had any type of anxiety around our parents' life, livelihood and relationship with each other, if we felt like we were connected to how their relationship went, we can then end up feeling like we are just, you know, a burden in general. Like, why are we even here? You know, if I'm just, if I was born and now I'm, you know, being some type of, of economic uh, baggage, emotional baggage, if I'm, if I'm causing a lot of mental stress and trauma, you know, for my parents, then why, why am I even here? You know? And I, that's not something we consciously think about, but if you think about it on a deeper level, uh, a lot of people uh, in my generation as a millennial uh, have very severe commitment issues. And this is kind of a spectrum of that. So some people can basically date the opposite sex and even be in a relationship but when it comes to uh, going forth with, say, full marriage or some type of uh, spiritual ceremony that would make things more concrete that they are in a sacred union, there tends to be uh, avoidance of that. Some people only get to the place where they can casually date the opposite gender or the same gender if that's uh, who they are attracted to, but then they can't go any further than just the casual dating. They can't go in, into an exclusive relationship, let alone a sacred type of union. And then you have some who can't even necessarily uh, find it within themselves to be able to casually date others. They are strictly about uh, just having sex, just hooking up, and there's nothing objectively wrong with any of these scenarios, uh, but it's just, just in, I'm just making the observation of a certain type of cause and effect. So there, while there are many people, many couples that are still having children, there are just as many, if not more, who are not. And you can see this globally with the overall birth rates uh, globally are going down. And the only places where they're not are places where immigration is happening at such a positive rate that the new people coming in are kind of offsetting what the natives birth rate would be without the presence of certain uh, demographics of immigrants. But basically that where I'm getting at is young couples are not really giving, they're not really having children. So let alone, uh, say, forming some type of sacred union with each other. Uh, and so I, I look at that and I go back to how a child's relationship was with their parents. And if they ever felt that they caused some type of turmoil or disarray or anything like that to their parents they may feel going forth that it's very on a subconscious level as an adult they may feel like well I can't why would I have children if that child would then end up feeling like a burden or if I would then end up taking on a burden by having children a lot of young adults see children as burdens uh, and while they are very, uh, they are a lot 
to take responsibility for. They are also blessings in many ways, and they do help a lot of adults go through a form of a second childhood, reliving or healing through certain experiences that they can have with their children. So that it's interesting to see the correlation where due to having certain experiences and seeing your parents go through certain things, certain negative events while they were either married or just dating or, or just co-parenting uh, you. You end up seeing that, internalizing it, and then you hear them arguing about you or you, you just see that, okay, since I've been here and you just see negative things happening and you're just soaking in everything as children are, are like sponges, the way that they absorb information and they end up just taking in all that and just sometimes they internalize that as, wow, this is what I created. Just my birth created this negative situation for my parents. And so, and now my parents may not even want to be together anymore. And so that child gets older, they may have lived with just one of their parents, or if they live with both of their parents, maybe they just had a, a negative situation uh, where the, the parents kind of just put up with each other but they didn't actually love each other and fully connect with each other. And the child could still feel that going into their teenage years and then eventually as young adults. So I could it's just something that I've been observing overall in society. And so I see this correlation where a lot of young adults and even later millennials are having a hard time fully connecting with each other and if they would have perhaps had children maybe like they would have in the past in previous generations uh, avoiding that path where a couple gets together and they either ha basically you know have conception that they, they, the woman gives birth or if they have adoption if he or she can't give birth you know, if it's a same-sex situation and they may have went through an adoption type of scenario and now maybe in the modern day they don't want to do that at this point because they don't want to go to that next stage of having children. So regard, basically regardless of the relationship dynamic, uh, this, is, this can be observed in some way, shape, or form. And this, while it's not universal and there are always exceptions to the rule, it's just something that in a societal trend I am noticing, regardless of the relationship dynamic or the orientation of the partners, there does seem to be an aversion more than previous generations to having children or adopting children. So it's interesting. And that's, that's my thoughts on it. So I'm curious what your thoughts are about this have you seen this in society have you noticed that people are kind of a bit more uh, shy when it comes to the subject of children that they may be just avoiding it overall if they have a negative stance towards it uh, or are you seeing something different are you seeing something to the contrary uh, especially with COVID right now I am hearing that there has been a spike of pregnant pregnancies due to the circumstances with COVID-19, but let's say just in the overall spectrum, let's say over the last several years, uh, have you observed that what I've observed, have you observed something different in society? Do you have a different perspective? If so, definitely feel free to share in the comments section. So that's what I have. It's an interesting topic. So I'm, I'm definitely curious about your thoughts on this. Uh, this is a look inside with Rashar Medina. Peace.